All right, so I am installing an aftermarket radio in my 2003 Oldsmobile Alero. Um, as you can see, I've taken it almost completely apart, and I just need to unplug it. My new radio I've already wired up, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. But so far, to take out the radio, first thing you do is you remove, actually, excuse me, you move the gear shift knob to do that it faces like this and there's a pin in this hole it's just a, come on, a little metal pin looks like this you just stick a screwdriver in there and just pop it out it comes out pretty easily and then this comes off off this right here just and then this just pulls right up there's nothing really holding it into place so it literally just lifts right out, super easy uh, to take out. I took my knobs off, thinking I might need to do that, and you don't need to do that. That was me just trying to be prepared, and it was unnecessary. Once that's off, then you just pull this from the bottom gently, and it just pops right off as well. So super easy. And then the radio for my 2003 had uh, three bolts. These are 7 millimeter that hold the radio in. Pull those through, unscrew those three, and it just pulls right out. And then you have the wires behind to connect it up. I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these wires, and then I will pull out the other radio. It's inside right now, and show you the wiring on it, and go from there. All right, so here's the radio and the wiring harness. Wiring harness is separate. Uh, this is a Metra unit. I'll include a link for it um, in the description. Bought off Amazon, it's just a few bucks. Um, excuse me, this isn't the Metro. This is what came with the radio. This is the Metro unit. I specifically got one that retains the chimes since I believe this goes through the radio for the chimes. Um, it's a Clarion unit. Uh, why this one? It was one of the cheaper ones of a brand I recognized that did Bluetooth. Um, I don't talk on my phone in the car but I listen to a lot of audiobooks so um, they're on my phone so makes it easier also has a USB port on there which I do like because I like to load up a USB drive with all my music um, this is my wiring job uh, it's not pretty but uh, I've been putting radios in cars since I was 14 and I'm now 33 and they've all worked just fine so you don't like my wiring job stinks to you <laughs> this is uh the antenna adapter you have to get an antenna adapter um for it now this has a bunch of stuff that i'm not going to be using this is like if you have a um uh, a sub uh, not a sub but um an amp an amplifier which i don't have an amplifier um, this car is not worth buying an amplifier for um one of these are for mic one's for steering wheel controls um it has a mic on the front, and I figure I'm close enough to it that it might work. If not, I'll get a, 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 a you know a, a remote mic. Um, but I don't have steering wheel control, so that's worthless. This is for Sirius satellite radio, which obviously I'm not using because again, I have a prescription because I'm cheap. I drive a $2,000 car. Um, I'm not gonna have a subscription that's worth more than the car. So I've taken out the radio, as you can see there, and I'm gonna stuff the wiring in now one thing with wiring is it gives you a lot of extra length but then you have to figure out where to shove it all um, the factory harness is fairly short so I'm going to go ahead and figure out that now and then plug everything in hopefully everything works all right so something um, that I didn't mention before but I'll mention now when you go to plug everything in don't completely reassemble the whole thing and then test the radio go ahead and test your radio first because i've taken everything plugged it all in and it will not power on the keys on but no power so if i had put it all in um and back together before i tested it I'd have to now be taking everything apart, but now because it's already mostly apart, I can go ahead and um, just take the cabling out 
go inside, check the wiring diagram, just make sure I got everything cabled up nice and pretty um, and correctly, and go from there. So this has actually saved me a ton of time because obviously something's not right, it's not turned on. So either I have a bed unit or my wiring's wrong, more than likely my wiring's wrong somewhere. And so we'll go from there. So definitely a tip I would make when installing any aftermarket radio. Test it before you button it all back up. All right, so it's all installed. Now, I did run into a couple of problems while installing it. Um, those happen to do with fitment of this plastic piece that has the cubby on it. Basically, the corners back here on the radio, like here you can see it's rounded, but the piece that this hooks into, oh, back there, it's actually squared in the corner. So I actually had to take my knife um, just a, a box cutter and I just trimmed those edges just slightly and then this piece that's behind here had the same problem in it in its corner is it was squared and so I had to round off those corners a bit to get it to uh, to fit uh, it wasn't very hard it took just a few moments to do that um, but I just want to point that out for somebody who uh, might be doing a similar install um, but it works let me grab my key I have to turn the sound down. Lights up. Right, that way I don't get hit with any, um, you know, violations or anything on uh, YouTube for having sound that I don't own. I'm gonna have to find some sort of rubberized mat to go in that pocket because my uh, badge for work to get, that gets me in and out of the uh, parking garage. You have to be careful that you don't slide some down there. It just, I, I actually threw it in before and it slid out just by me moving the car. So I'm going to have to find something rubberized because I think there's a perfect place for this. Makes it real convenient. Right now I put it on there, which it can slide back and isn't always convenient to get to. So, um, yeah, it ended up, but the, the problem ended up being there was an orange wire, um, which was the power. Um, it was kind of reddish orange. I wasn't sure if it was it or not, um, but it was. I had to hook that one up. And it was just kind of floating there, and I wasn't sure what to do with it because of its color. Um, if you haven't installed a radio in a car, especially you know something that's a little bit older, GM or Ford or an older um, Toyota, it's actually really easy to do. It's a really nice upgrade uh, for your vehicle, especially if you drive a lot like I do. Um, especially if you listen to audiobooks, stuff like that, it makes life a lot easier. Anyways, if you have any questions about this install, uh, feel free to ask in the um, comment section down below and I'll post a link to the items I bought on Amazon if you're uh, interested in buying any particular device. Thank you for watching.